heard it over and over, again and again. The youth are our future. The children are our hope. The next generation will carry on the torch. We saw an opportunity in terms of being able to look at an idea and seeing the need for it to exist yeah. in reality. Because I was never able to do something like that. <laughs> I think it's oversaid and underment. I don't believe it receives the action that it deserves. But young people are not receiving the needed attention from not only government but also from, you know, the private sector where we really need young people to be engaged. I have two kids out there who I want to contribute towards a better South Africa and a better world. And I think if ever we've been worried about parenting and about our youth, it's now in the midst of a global COVID-19 pandemic where their lives are being shaped, their schooling has changed completely. The influences around them, including the mental and emotional states of their parents and their caregivers and their friends are all altered. According to the latest statistics, 40% of South African youth aged 15 to 34 were not employed, educated or trained during lockdown period. In fact, in February, before this crisis even emerged locally, our president called youth unemployment a crisis in South Africa. A recent study shows, and it's no surprise, that 65% of young people are worried about their mental health in light of COVID-19. They have been thrown into a hot pot of anxiety, depression, fear, and apprehension for what the future may hold. What about children with pre-existing medical conditions? Millions suffer from tuberculosis and AIDS and are at particular risk. So what about children with pre-existing mental health conditions? They comforted one another through touch and contact before the evolution of language. What's going to replace that now? What about children from broken homes where parents are fighting and this stress and anxiety has only amplified their problems? It's our children. It's their future. It's in our hands and we're dropping the ball because we're allowing our problems to overshadow their importance. We're all worried. We're all worried. And, and for it being put out there to, to parents, how do you not worry as a parent? Yes, it's tough. Trust me, I know. We're all in different boats, I acknowledge. But we're in the same ocean and we're experiencing the same turbulent storm. Our children's lives matter. And when you're having a really rough day, when you're grappling with the whole new normal, just remember that we're adults. And think about the youth around you who would very much like to look up to you as an example of somebody who is weathering this turbulent storm. Yes, be better for you. Yes, be better for your family. But maybe be better for the kids who are out there desperately wondering what their future is going to look like. They feel like they're carrying the weight of the world the weight of their future, and now sometimes the weight of their own families, mental, emotional, financial states. Recession. Uh, in is a, now in recession. We are going recession. into a global recession. We're in an economic downturn. It's not okay. They're not okay. Think to your childhood. Think about everything you went through, all the embarrassing moments, all the epic failures, all the really traumatic things that happened to you that shaped you and formed you and made you who you were. Things that you've had to have therapy for and things that you've had to overcome. Imagine you also faced a global pandemic. The army is out on the streets, here in one of Johannesburg's poor neighborhoods. A very challenging time for South Africans. The measures are extremely strict. To act early and aggressively. That affected you and your family, your lifestyle, your movements how you lived and even breathed. Would you be okay? No, I wouldn't be okay. Words, South Africa is not out of the woods yet. A recent report by the International Labour Organization is calling them the lockdown generation. And this is because they are severely and disproportionately affected by the multiple blows delivered during the COVID-19 crisis. The effects of this are not going to just work themselves out in the next one or two years. This is going to affect a generation, generations upon generations. Practically, what can we do? Have a little bit more compassion? I think we need to offer a bit of stability. Emotion.
emotion. And maybe take a second to learn from them. Learn from their resilience despite their innocence. Learn from their sense of humour and their childlike, wide-eyed wonder at the world. They're probably the most optimistic out of all of us, despite everything going on. Let's be like that. Let's be a little bit more like that. Be there for your kids. Be enough. You are enough. Because they, for damn sure, are enough. And if you can't, that's okay too. Reach out. Find a friend. Lean on them. Don't lean on your kids. I don't have all the answers. All I know is we should care more. Happy Youth Day, South Africa. Stay young at heart. Inspire those around you that are looking up and need an example.